today we're going to be learning about the strawberry plant. Strawberries are very popular fruit. In fact, they're so popular, did you know that Americans eat about three and a half pounds of strawberries every year? That's about the weight of a two slice toaster or a can of Crisco. That's a lot of strawberries. Strawberries are a plant that comes back every year. So a plant that comes back every year without having to be replanted is known as a perennial, which means that you can have strawberries for a really, really, really long time. And also, not only do humans enjoy strawberries, but animals enjoy strawberries too. So if you have a pet at home, make sure to check with an adult first if they can eat it, but you and your pet can enjoy strawberries as well. If you want to plant a strawberry, you can either plant a strawberry from seed or you can get an actual plant like I did from a local nursery or garden center. Okay, so for today we are going to be planting the strawberry plant not outside but in a container. So I didn't know if you know this, but some plants can be planted in a container. Um, so we're going to do that with our strawberry plant. If you're going to be planting it by seed, you want to make sure that you don't go too deep with the strawberry plant because it only needs about half an inch. If you plant it too deep, it's gonna struggle to come up and it won't be able to uh, produce anything. So I'm gonna take out this tag because I don't need it. And when it comes to an actual plant, if you wanna look closer, let's see, right about here. When you're planting the plant, you don't wanna go too deep and bury this part where my pinky is you wanna make sure that you leave some room. So you can see right now I planted a hole. Look how deep it is right there. So I'm gonna put this in. This is just about right because what happens is these little roots are gonna shoot off and we don't wanna be burying it. So I'm just gonna plant it straight as is. Some people suggest breaking up the root, but I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna shock the strawberry plant. Have you ever had your parent just rip your um, bed up when you're sleeping, you know, your, um, your blanket when you're sleeping and you're nice and warm and cozy and then boom, you have to be up. It's not a fun experience. So that's very similar to the plant as well. When it's nice and bound and tight, it needs time to wake up and stretch and spread out its roots. So as you can tell with the strawberry plant as well, it's got some nice lovely green leaves, but it also has some flowers. And the flowers are what determine it to be considered a fruit, because a fruit is anything that is produced from a flower that has seeds in it. So this is going to be quite a bunch of different um, strawberries that are going to be growing, as you can tell. we got some here some here, and some here, I have another one that's gonna be budding real soon. So here in New England, we actually get our strawberries between June, early June to early July. But strawberries can be produced all year round in different seasons, and farmers have worked really hard to check to see when the strawberry is going to be ready to produce. This particular strawberry plant that I've planted is supposed to give me strawberries all year round, We'll see if it happens, but generally speaking, strawberries only give you fruit from mid-June, early June to early July. Because tomorrow is Easter, I am actually going to be making a dessert with strawberries. So for this dessert, you're going to need strawberries, instant vanilla pudding, frozen whipped topping, cream cheese, and milk. To get started, we are going to whisk our softened three ounces of cream cheese. I'm just gonna whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. So it's nice and soft. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be mixing in our vanilla instant pudding with our milk. That's a lot of pudding. Okay. Wow, that was a lot. Now we're going to just whip this 
all up so it's mixed. And once it's mixed, I'll show you the next thing that we're going to do. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be adding in the pudding that we mixed in with the cream cheese. And we're gonna mix it all around. So you might need to get a spatula and a whisk like I am in order for us to mix it up real nice and good. So you wanna get that all nice and mixed around. It is very important. Woo! What a pain in the booty this thing is. going to do is you're going to take your frozen topping that I have or you might have and you're going to fold it in Wowza. <laughs> don't beat it up like I do I'm just trying to get stuff off and sometimes it can be a real pain to get things off. You're going to just fold it in, fold it all around nice and beautiful. I didn't eat that. And then you're going to See how this is mixing up nicely? And you're going to add the strawberries that have already been pre-washed and pre-cut. And just put all those beautiful strawberries in. And you're gonna fold it around, make it look real pretty. Oh, it smells so yummy. And I really want to have some, but I have to wait until tomorrow. Self-control, very important. Not that I have it, but whatever. I'm gonna take our cake that has been cooled. We're gonna put some in the middle. Ooh, that wanted to escape. How rude. Come back here. Want to spread it around as evenly as possible. It's kind of hard when all the strawberries are lumpy and whatnot, but I'm gonna spread that around. And the strawberry. Then we're gonna take this other cake that I have. Wow. Like I said, you want to try to get it even as possible because you can't necessarily tell it's kind of awkward. I'm gonna try to stabilize it. Means make it a little bit more even so it doesn't fall around. I'm gonna take the rest of this topping, plop it on. I like that word plop. It's really fun. Wow. I really wanna eat this cake right now. You don't understand. It's so yummy. Okay. And then finally, to finish off the cake, I have some strawberries that I set aside. We're just gonna top it like so. Come on, there's room for everyone. And voila, this is the dessert that I am making for Easter. That I used my strawberries that we learned about today. So hopefully you guys will be able to have something fun for Easter. And if not, I will try to make this for you in the future. Okay, see you soon. Bye.